Let's solve a problem where trigonometry, namely the law of cosines, is required. Let's say that during a hurricane, an old tree is damaged and is leaning off to one side. To secure the tree, an anchor post is placed in the ground five meters from the tree. Five meters away from the tree, there's an anchor post that will be used to secure the tree to make sure it doesn't fall over. A nine meter rope is attached to this anchor post and it's wrapped around the tree. So I have a nine meter rope that's attached to the tree and the anchor post and it's wrapped around the tree six meters from the base of the tree. Knowing those three values, the distance that the anchor post is from the tree, the length of the rope, and how far up the tree the rope is wrapped around, we can determine at what angle the tree is leaning, angle theta in this diagram. Let's do it now. In this situation, we can represent the leaning tree and the rope attaching it to the ground as a triangle. And in this triangle, we know the lengths of all three sides. And when you know the lengths of all three sides of a triangle, you can find the measure of any angle using the law of cosines. The law of cosines states that c squared side c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The square of the other two sides looks a lot like the Pythagorean theorem, but there's an extra term at the end, minus 2ab times the cosine of angle c. Now when using the law of cosines, the three sides are interchangeable. You can begin the law of cosines with any of the three sides squared equals, and then you would have the other two sides squared and added together as the first thing on the right side of the equation. But when using the law of cosines, the angle that you take the cosine of at the end is across from the side that is squared on the left side of the equation. So in this situation, since we want to find angle theta, we'll start our law of cosines with 9 squared. It will be 9 squared equals the other two sides squared. I'll call 6a and b 5. And then I'll end with the cosine of angle theta. So the version of the law of cosines that I'll use here is 9 squared is what I'll start with. And I'll end with the cosine of the angle that's opposite that. Equals the other two sides squared and added together. 6 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 6 times 5 times, again, the cosine of angle theta. Now, at this point, I, I think the hard work is done. We've taken the problem, made a diagram, and applied the law of cosines. The rest of the problem will just be doing the arithmetic and the algebra to isolate angle theta in this equation. We'll do that by first squaring 9, 81. 6 squared is 36, and 5 squared is, of course, 25. And when you add 36 and 25, we get 61. And the product of 2, 6, and 5 is 60. The next step in the process of isolating the cosine of angle theta, and eventually angle theta, would be to subtract 61 from both sides of the equation. And 80 minus 61 is 20 which we now have as equal to negative 60 times the cosine of angle theta. Let's isolate the cosine of angle theta by dividing both sides by negative 60. I'll write this as a fraction. 20 divided by negative 60 is negative 20 sixtieths, which in lowest terms is negative one third. So the cosine of angle theta is equal to negative one third. And if the cosine of theta is negative one third, then theta is the inverse cosine of negative one-third. So we've now isolated angle theta in this equation. And if we take the inverse cosine of negative one-third to the nearest tenth in degrees, we get 109.5 degrees. And that's the angle at which this tree is leaning, 109.5 degrees.